Finally, Russia's fast food market has seen huge growth over the past decade, with international and local players alike reaping the benefits. Daniela Loga has been to meet some local expats who are the latest to get involved, bringing soup onto the streets of Russia. All you can eat, and then some. Russia's food outlet market was valued at about $24 billion in 2009, with fast food accounting for 30 to 40 percent of that, around 8 to $10 billion worth of takeaway. The market has boomed during the past decade, and this has seen the rise of homegrown fast food, as well as an increasing number of global brands looking to cash in. A recent addition to the market comes from a group of expat entrepreneurs who figure they can turn a profit selling Russians a product they usually make in their own kitchens. They feel they have a recipe for success despite the economic slowdown. There's been a mass trend in, in down trading or downgrading the amount of money spent on uh, eating out. So people are looking for fast food options, but a lot of people don't want to sacrifice things like quality. There's, the, there's an increase in, in interest in health. So um, some segments are saturated, some segments are starting to lose popularity. Soupchik believes Russians serve up to 32 billion soup portions a year, with sales growth of 25 percent expected in the next two years. That sort of growth forecast is common across a wide range of fast food varieties. From potatoes to soup to hot dogs, chances are if you're looking for fast food in Moscow, you'll find something that suits your taste. Now, an interesting thing about the market is that many players don't see other outlets as competition per se, in that many have their own specialized culinary niches. Analysts say that despite the range already available, there is plenty of room around the table. Without a doubt, competition exists. There are certainly a number of large players, but at this stage, it's all more or less comfortable because the market still isn't saturated in spite of the development that's taken place in the last 10 years. Generally, we see great potential for future growth leading up to the present scene in Western Europe. In April, McDonald's revealed that its European outlets outperformed those in the United States when it came to growth. They are eyeing a further 45 restaurants in Russia and plan $150 million in new investment this year. With market players swarming in, Russian consumers will dine out on an increasing range of fast food options, while the menus of both domestic entrepreneurs and multinationals dish it out for their meal choices. Daniela Loga, Business RT. So, fast foodie fans, you just confess that you yes. are a big fan. I am. I want to know where soup chick is because that sounds healthy. Yeah, it does. Sound pretty good. tasty, nutritious. I'm interested. Russian soup are the best, I find so. Mm, mm. That's going to be the place for Thank me. you. Yeah. That's all from me today, but I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for that, and see you tomorrow. All right, then. Now, whether you want life to be a comic book caper or a surreal fairy tale, Moscow has it all for you. Let's uh, see how to get more out of the city in going out. Arseny Lapin, a painter, sculptor and animator from the Moscow region, is showcasing his works at the recently opened Borscht Gallery. He describes his art as psycho-folk, an attempt to create an independent universe made up of Slavic fairy tales mixed with surrealism. The exhibition is called All Kinds of Fish and features more than 50 of his works, including a short animation film. Borst Gallery, close to Metro Mayakovskaya, and it's open daily from 12 till 7.